The components required for this experiment are Nord MCU board, MQ135 sensor, DHT11 sensor, connecting cable and connecting wires. Now log in to the Arduino IoT cloud website. Click on the sign in button, enter the username and password and click on the sign in button. Now first go to the things menu. Here click create thing. Here we need to enter any title. So I am entering the project name as Air Quality Monitoring. Now click this add variable button and add the variable temperature. And then select variable type, uncheck this one and type temperature. Here we need to select this variable type. Now select this read write option and here we need to select on change and then click on add variable. Now we need to add the second variable humidity. Again click on this add button and enter the variable name as humidity and variable type again unselect this one and select percentage. And here the same thing which we did for temperature we need to select this read and write and here we need to select on change and then click add variable button. Now click add again and add the variable air quality. And here also select the variable type, select as percentage and read write should be selected and on change should be selected and click add variable. And then we need to select the final variable message. Again click on this add button, select the variable name as message and select the variable type as string and click add variable button. Now we need to select the device. So we here we are using ESP8266 that is node MCU board. So click on this select device button. Here click set up a new device and here we need to select third party device. So here ESP8266 is selected by default and we need to select the model. So the model which I am using is node MCU 1.0. Now click on continue and here we need to enter the device name. So it will show a device name by default and we can give our own device name. So I give the name as my node MCU and then click on next button. So here it will show the device ID secret key. So we need to download this uh, PDF so which, which has the device ID and the secret key. And then select this checkbox. I saved my device ID and secret key and then click on continue button and click on done. So we selected the device. Now we need to set up our network. So click on this configure button. So we need to enter our Wi-Fi username and password and then we need to select uh, copy the secret key. So this is our secret key. Copy this and paste here. Now click on save button. Now go to this dashboard and here click build dashboard. Here also we need to enter the title air quality monitoring. 
and here we need to click on this add button and we need to add the gauge widgets so we need to add three gauges one for temperature second one for humidity and third one for air quality so click on this gauge and here give the name as temperature and here we can see link variable so here we need to click on this link variable and we need to select the variable which we selected on the things menu so since we are creating this gauge for temperature we need to select this temperature variable and click link variable and here we can select the minimum and maximum value i am giving the maximum value as 100 and click on done button now go to add and add the gauge widget for humidity so here give the name as humidity and select the variable humidity and click link variable and here also i gave the maximum value as 100 and click done now add the third one so which is air quality and here also link the variable and select the air quality variable and again click on link variable button and here i am giving the maximum value as 500 now we can also add chart for these three values so here we can see chart so here also we need to repeat the same one for temperature second one for, second one for humidity and third one for air quality we can drag and adjust this widgets so click on this arrange widgets button and we can arrange the widgets now finally we can add the message widget so here we can select messenger and select the variable message and click link variable and finally click done now the setup is completed now we need to modify the code so for that go back to things menu and click on this things name and here we can see sketch so click on this sketch and click open full editor so before that we need to install this agent so here we can see to upload a sketch make sure the agent is installed on this computer so click learn more and here you can see the install the agent button click this so click on the start button and we need to download the agent so since this is 64 bit machine so i am downloading download for win 64 so now click on click on that msi and click yes from here click next and press this button and again click next and click finish now here click the next button and go to web, ed web editor so it will generate the code by default and we need to add if you want to do any function additionally so here we need to include the dht library since we are monitoring the temperature and humidity so for that write hash include dht dot h and then we need to declare the variable for the dht 11 sensor so write 
so we are declaring the pin 4 4 means we need to connect to d2 pin in node mcu then we need to define the dht type so we are using dht 11 sensor And also we are declaring the air quality sensor. Now we need to read the temperature and humidity and the air quality function here inside this void loop. So here we need to write float hm dht dot read of read humidity. So this function will read the humidity and we can print this humidity. So print this variable. So it will print the humidity in the serial monitor. Then we can read the temperature float temp equal to dht dot read temperature. Here also we need to print this temperature. Then we can find the air quality. Air quality value equal to, since we connected the air quality sensor to the analog variable, so we need to write analog read of this sensor value. And we need to print this air quality value also, serial dot print of air quality now we need to assign all these values to the variable which we declared in the arduino iot cloud so first one humidity equal to hm and temperature equal to temp and air quality equal to air quality value. Now we need to display all these values in that message value or message text box also. So for that we need to write the code as message equal to so this is the variable which we declared in the thing menu temperature equal to plus string of temperature plus humidity Now the program is completed. Now we need to compile this code. 
So for that we need to select the board here and then click on this compile button. Now the program is verified and compiled. Now select this arrow button and upload the program to the node MCU board. Now the program is uploaded successfully to the node MCU board. Now we can check the output. We can also verify the output in the mobile application. So for that we need to download the Arduino IoT cloud application from the Play Store. So now open the application and here we can see the project which we created in the Arduino IoT cloud web dashboard. So click on that and we can check the output.